HJ, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time, my name is Hillary Jane. Love to talk about Jesus, love to unpack scripture and help you to understand God and his word better. Hit the like button for Pablo. He survived Parvo and he almost died, so give him a like. So today I wanted to encourage you about evangelism. Okay, so Romans 10, 14 and 15, let's unpack it. How then will they, talking about unbelievers, call on him, Jesus, in whom they have not believed? So how are unbelievers supposed to call on the name of Jesus who they don't believe in? And how are they to believe in him of whom they've never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Mm, how beautiful. How is an unbeliever supposed to believe in Jesus to be saved if they've never even heard about him? That's where we come in. Jesus calls us right there in that scripture and in multiple other scriptures to go out and preach the good news and give the good news and let them hear it. Scripture says it right there. Right there. Believing comes by hearing. But how are they gonna hear if we're all sitting in our cozy churches, sitting in our cozy houses watching Netflix, love Netflix, and never going out and seeking to serve and, and give the good news to the lost. And so you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, I know that we're supposed to do that, but I'm actually really afraid of doing that, or I'm really not good at that, or I really don't have the boldness enough to do that. I'm not that kind of person. There's the loud, you know, a uh, social butterfly, talk to anybody, make your mama her best friend type of person, and then there's me. I like to be alone. I like to just be around the few friends that I made. I'm not really good at talking to new people. I don't really like social settings. It's not my cup of tea. So, I'm sorry, I just cannot evangelize. It's not up my alley. In the most loving, caring for your soul way that I can tell you, I'm going to let you know that that's not a good excuse because God has given us the mandate to evangelize and share his gospel. That's how unbelievers are going to hear about Jesus. But on the same side of the coin, the gracious side of the coin, yeah, God's commanded you to do it and you have no choice, but God will also by his spirit, give you the boldness and the wisdom and the courage to do it. And so if you feel like on your own strength and on your own knowledge and on your own personality, you're not able to, good thing you have the Holy Spirit because he'll help you out. One of the first key things to do though is make sure that you're able to articulate it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell somebody the gospel if you don't even know how to say it. So going over what the gospel is, being able to articulate it, and it doesn't have to be fancy, and it doesn't have to be eloquent. It can literally be 30 seconds, 45 seconds, to the point you gotta cover how we're sinful, God is holy, God is just, so Jesus came, and if we believe in Jesus, we're saved, Jesus rose from the dead, so we will also uh, rise with him in the last day. Like, that's the gospel right there. Um, so if you just practice, practice, practice how to articulate it, then God will give you the grace and the boldness when the time comes to do it. But what the Holy Spirit doesn't do, he doesn't just make you all of a sudden know how to do trigonometry. You have to have trigonometry tucked in there. You know what I'm saying? So practice the gospel and have it hidden in your mind, have it hidden in your heart. So when the perfect time comes, you know how to bring it forward and be secure in the fact that your presentation, although it should be winsome and loving, will not be the thing that saves them. Just remember to be loving and be kind whenever you're sharing the good news of Jesus Christ because the fact that somebody is a sinner and deserves the wrath of God is already pretty hard enough. Hey, take up your cross and follow Jesus. Like, that's hard to hear. So just make sure that you're giving it with honey on your lips. You're giving it with love. You're giving it with kindness and patience and always pray for that person's heart to be opened up so that the Lord, you know, will work in their life. Something that helped me was to, like me and Roman just be driving the car, going wherever we're going. This is when we were dating, so like three years ago. Um, and we would just role play. So he would be the non-believer and I would role play how I'm gonna share the gospel with him. Grab a friend, say, okay, you be, you be the non-believer. I'll say it this time, I'll be the non-believer, you go and practice so that when you're walking down the street or you're in McDonald's and you're like, okay, I'm gonna give the gospel. It's not the first time you've ever done it before. Love you guys. 
Um, if you like more Christian videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe, share this video with somebody. I'm pretty sure your friends or your family members or anybody on your Facebook or Twitter um, needs encouragement in evangelism. So please share my video and encourage others with it. I love you guys. If you have any video um, suggestions, put them below. If you have any questions about evangelism, put it below and I would love to help you out. So go share that gospel.